The Iranian president warns that violence and vandalism won't be tolerated after four days of demonstrations. Hassan Rouhani appears on television to say people have the right to protest, but that his country's problems stem from international sanctions. Firefighters tackle a huge blaze at Liverpool Arena. The fire broke out in the multi-storey car park. Divers recover the bodies of six people, four believed to be British, who died when a sightseeing plane crashed in Australia. A penalty save helps Manchester City avoid defeat, but their 18-game winning run in the Premier League finally comes to an end. And New Year's celebrations get underway around the globe as we prepare to welcome in 2018. Hello and a very good evening. The Iranian president Hassan Rouhani has declared that people have the right to protest and criticize his government, but not resort to violence and vandalism. His comments are the first by a senior figure in Iran since widespread protests against the government began on Thursday. Today, police in Tehran used water cannon on the crowds. Kazra Naji from the BBC's Persian service reports. Central Tehran during the fourth day of anti-government protests. These protesters are shouting death to the dictator, a reference to Iran's... Well, that is just about all from me for tonight. You can see more on all today's stories on the BBC News Channel, of course, from all of us here on The Late Team. I wish you a very happy new year. Good night. Bye-bye.